Hello, I'm Lindsay Raymond with the KBRO and today I'm going to be reading to you a short encounter report that was recently submitted to us. Now the report came in by email by a lady called Vivian and it's sent in on behalf of her sister Miriam who wrote the actual body of the report that I'm going to be reading to you. So I'm going to get straight into it. The report goes Bigfoot sighting by Miriam and her cousin Sylvia Smallwood. Location at Sassafras Hollow, Sassafras, Kentucky, Knott County, year 1949. Me and my cousin Syl Sylvia went up the hollow to swing on the grapevines. I was getting ready to swing out over the hollow or the little stream and I looked across the stream and I saw what I thought was an ape. It was fuzzy, hairy, and it had the face of a man. It was up on the mountain by a tree. It was standing up like a man would stand. Then it bent over and took something off the ground. It looked to me like a stick, not a little stick, about two inches around and a foot long. Then it sat down and leaned up against a tree and started chewing on it. I said to Sylvia, do you see it? And she said, no. I kept saying, do you see it? Finally, she saw it and said, I see it. When I realized she saw it too, I started running. She was hollering, wait a minute, wait a minute. She was heavy and I was on the skinny side. We had to climb across a fence on our way there. I jumped over it and she was crying because she couldn't get across the fence fast enough. We went home and, I t and we told her brother what we saw. He told us to come inside the house and he showed us some funny books with pictures of gorillas, like a Tarzan book. He wanted us to pick out what we'd seen. We both picked out a gorilla picture. He said, are you sure? And we said, yes. Then he said, there are no gorillas or apes in this country. Then we went on down the holler to grandma's house and told them, all my aunts and uncles were down there and they all just laughed at us. We didn't have TV in those days, so all I had to go by was what I saw in the funny book. So all I can say was that it looked like an ape. I think I was about 10 years old, so this would have been back in 1949. It had to be seven foot tall. It was fuzzy, like an animal, a dark brown or black color. They said I could have seen a bear, but it did not have a pointed nose like a bear, but a flat face like a man. There were stories all through the years about animals being torn to pieces, cattle and dogs. There was always a strange smell around those areas. This was mainly in the head of Red Oak, another holler, that all these occurred. That was about a mile from our house by road or directly over the mountain from our house if you went through the hills. It was summer, the trees were green, the time of day was in the afternoon. The weather was regular, summertime, because we were out playing. So there you have it, an interesting and somewhat entertaining encounter report for you today. Now, if you have a report that you would like to submit and for us to read on your behalf, uh, we would love to hear from you. You can email us at info at KentuckyBigfoot.com or if you dare, you can give us a call at 502-435-2771. Thanks again to Vivian and Miriam for this report today, and we will see you next time.